I'm gonna talk to the camera, okay? You wanna say hi? Hey everyone, this is episode two of Making Money as a Stay-at-Home Mom, and I have bad news for you. I made no money selling t-shirts. I made two different t-shirts. <laughs> Luckily, most, most likely, if you're watching this, you're a stay-at-home mom, so you understand. Yeah, baby. So I made a cute little mom saying, which I doubted that would sell well. It was just sort of a thing to do to see how to sell t-shirts online. But I thought that Thank the Phoenician shirt would do better, and it did do better. I got a lot more views. So basically, my system was to make the t-shirts on Teespring and then to advertise it on Instagram. If you are serious about doing this, I think what I probably would have done is used Facebook marketing because when people comment on it, it's just easier to share and tag and then it shows up more on people's feeds. Oh, don't touch that baby. I just don't think I used, um, I don't use Facebook that much except for Facebook Marketplace. So um, that's probably my suggestion. I don't know if I'll try it again. I think my t-shirt selling days are in my past, but this was my experience. I think I spent $21 total and not that much time. And I actually love these t-shirts. I wear them all the time. So here is my process of how I made and advertised, marketed through Instagram, homemade t-shirts. I started this like 20 minutes ago and this is what I came up with. This cute shirt. So I think I'm gonna order one. Um, it's real easy. You just add an image or add text and voila, a t-shirt. So, um, you can also set the price here at whatever you want. So I'll just keep it at what they recommend and that's a $10 per sale profit. So maybe I'll do onesies too. But look how like spaced out that is. And then you can add different colors. So let's do a pink one. That's cute. Oh my God, I might need to get that for Landon. Very pink one, a blue one dark blue one, green. I think I need that for Landon. All right, so this is so cute. What are we gonna name the design? Okay, so I named it Mommy Snacks, and I put a little description, how I have a daughter, and during her second nap is my one moment in the day to relax and have a treat. And I think that's it, so let's publish it. It like took 20 minutes. live oh my gosh I love it okay so we took quite a few pictures so I picked one two how cute is that three you can't really see the shirt but you know it's there may your baby's naps maybe your baby's nap time be long nap time be long and your snack should I say snack time delicious snack time delicious Direct link in bio, check out t-shirts here, and then I'm gonna add a comment with all the hashtags. And I'm gonna share it, should I share it? And then I have to go in and promote it. Mm -hmm. It looks good, right? Mm -hmm. So it comes up right away, and then you hit promote. I made my Instagram account a, um, oh, it says you can actually put the link into the, and you could do that. So you can put a link directly underneath. Instagram targets people like your followers. So I just do that or create my own targeting? Like, All my yeah. followers are gonna be like moms, so it would be like young moms. Right. Should I just do that? Give it a try. Cause if you create your own, then you do location, interest, and age. Let's create our own. Location would be United States. 230 million people, potential reach. Interest. Babies. Well, I think mom, right? Or family, I don't know if they have mom. Mom, mom's there. Mom is one. Parenting. 
baby. Mother care, child, baby, baby shop. Yeah, baby shop. That's probably good, right? Yeah. I think it's down to 50 million people. Yeah. And then the age we want females between, what, 20 and 40? I wouldn't limit it because if they're like a grandma looking at it, they might buy it. So, care. What's the word if she bugged like a, some lady? No, it's just the more targeted you are, then the more targeted your dollars are. I'm only spending a dollar a day for like mm. a week. Audience name, mommy snacks. Budget, let's do a dollar for seven days. They're going to be like, this is too low. Estimated reach is 740 to 2000 That's pretty good for $7 for the whole week. Could you at least do like 10 bucks? Do 10 days or $2? It's a dollar a day. Is that what you're doing? For seven days. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, let's do a dollar for now until you have more t-shirts and then we can do a little more. You're all set. 740 to 2000 some reason Alexa thinks you're talking to her. It's been sent for review. So because you have a business account, you can look at View Insights. And it shows interaction, discovery, things like that. Check it in a week and see if anyone bought any. <laughs> right now, just two purchases, mine and Landon's. <laughs> <laughs> I sneak on there and buy a bunch of them. <laughs> just for the video? Mm -hmm. <laughs> for my ego? Mm -hmm. Thanks on it, so sweet. As you already know, no t-shirts have sold, but this is the insight from the promotion. So you'll see that um, a thousand people, over a thousand people were reached and I spent $7 and we had a couple of clicks, so not too bad. We are one week away from our Disney trip and these just arrived yesterday. I thought, Disney shirts would be a good way to make money. You can't use anything Disney on there. I think I even tried to do Disney Mom. It was such a cute design, I'll show you a picture, and Teespring took it off. But I've seen them on Etsy. I thought the writing was a dark gray. I got my husband a gray on gray, like a light gray on dark gray shirt. Here's what the picture looked like when I sent it to print. He likes the shirt. I got him a 2XL. He's usually an XL tall. He's like 6'5". So they didn't have a tall, so we went 2XL. And it looks great on him. You cannot see the writing. See, you can kind of see it there, like in the right lighting. And he, he actually thought that was kind of cool. I went to T Public, but they have no, from what I looked, I, just, I don't have a lot of time. I just looked real quickly and they didn't have any way to design anything. So you'd have to design a PNG file and upload it. And I couldn't find this font anywhere but um, Teespring. So what I did was I contacted them. It's been like, I would say 20 hours and I have not heard from them. So that's bad, Teespring. And then the other thing I did is last night I designed new t-shirts because um, I love the women's comfort tee. I like, it's one of my favorite t-shirts I've ever had. It fits me perfectly, it's still comfortable. So I designed new Teespring t-shirts with this font and um, I ordered himself and myself one and I had to pay $8 extra to get a rush shipping on it. So it's supposed to be here Wednesday and we are leaving on Thursday. I really want it so I can get pictures in front of the um, Spaceship Earth. So we'll see, fingers crossed. Hopefully there's a picture of me I'm inserting right now and my husband in front of Spaceship Earth thanking the Phoenician. I did end up getting the picture but the other shirts did not arrive in time and I never got a refund for that shirt that my husband got that you couldn't read the lettering. So not the greatest customer service from Teespring. So I advertised these two pictures. The first one is from our trip in June and then the second one is from our trip in August. And as you can see I spent $14 and this one did a whole lot better with reaching a bigger audience. However, I still didn't sell any t-shirts. <laughs>